Welcome everybody to Peace Lutheran Church. We are so excited. We get to start our regathering process starting on October 4th at 1030. And what, what I want to do in this video today is walk you through what that process is going to look like so that you'll know when you show up on Sunday what to expect. First thing that's going to happen is you're going to show up to the parking lot, you're going to park like normal, and you're going to walk over here to the church entrance. The only entrance that is going to be open is our, is our worship sanctuary space entrance. So make sure to come this way. You'll see a sign with some of our notices here that are welcoming everybody back. We'll ask for some things to make sure like face masks are required. Um, if you don't, if you forget to bring yours, you don't need to worry about that because we'll have some available here at the church to pass out if you need them. Um, we'll also have social distancing options here. And uh, when you first get here, you're gonna come to a registration station so that we know who's worshiped with us. And you're gonna meet someone like Kathy over here. And Kathy is gonna, Kathy's going to take your temperature to make sure you don't have a fever, make sure everyone is, is healthy. Uh, she's going to write down your name so that we know who's worshipped with us that morning. And in case there was some sort of outbreak, we'd have some contact tracing and could follow up with everybody. And again, we've got masks available. If you've forgotten yours, we will provide one for you. All right, let's go on inside. All right, we're going inside the sanctuary now. When you come inside the sanctuary, you're gonna be greeted by an usher. Kathy, it's amazing, you're in both spots at once. How did you do that? Uh, you're gonna have an usher, it might be a different person, but in the narthex, you'll be escorted by the usher and you'll be able to drop off your offering. If you bring one, you can drop it off in this offering basket and you can pick up communion for however many are in your family right here. You'll just grab one or two or three or however many in your family. And then Kathy is going to, or whoever that usher for the day is, they will walk you to your seats. So before we go into the sanctuary, a couple of more things. One, uh, we'll have a hand washing station here. If you need to wash your hands, it'll be available. It's touch free. Um, also, for those of you with kids, know that we won't have a nursery available. And another thing we won't have is coffee and donuts. So if you need to have that breakfast, have that coffee before you show up, uh, make sure you do that before you come to the church so we're not uh, spreading things that morning. Now let's go check, check out the sanctuary. As we enter the sanctuary, I remind you that uh, you'll have those masks available. I know mine keeps slipping off, so sometimes you have to adjust them. But here's some things that you might want to worry about. If your mask looks like this, that's not it. Or if your mask looks like this, that's not it. We're going to make sure our masks are over our nose and our mouth. Uh, the whole time we're in the sanctuary and also just as another precaution we won't be doing any congregational singing in the month of october that'll be a phase three where we have an opportunity to start singing we know that uh, aerosols are are spreading the COVID disease so we're trying to keep trying to be pretty uh, precautious about that using our masks now let's go into the sanctuary So we're heading in the sanctuary and Kathy is going to take me to my seat. I'm going to follow her and, and see where she puts me today. You can see there's all kinds of spots. We try to socially distance them. So you won't be all jam-packed together. You'll be spread out. And now people say safe. So I'm going to sit right here. Oh, lucky me, front row. You might be lucky enough to get a front row seat too you get here early enough. Now when we go out, it's going to be the opposite. We'll stay in our seats the entire time. Uh, if you need to go to the bathroom, of course you can, but we're not going to be moving around much during worship just to keep, just to keep things uh, contained. Uh, after worship is ended, the usher will start from the very back. So if you came in first, well, the first will be last and the last will be first. You'll be, uh, the back person will be ushered out first. So now I'm in the back and worship is over and the usher is going to say, okay, it's time to go. And I'll, and I'll get up and head out. You'll notice we're using the other door, so we have an entrance door and we have an exit door. And then I'll come out right through the narthex, and I'm not going to stick around because we want to make sure everybody can come out at this time. And I'll come out these doors, they'll be open. And if you want to stick around and visit with people, 
our, uh, our uh, recommendation is that you head off over to the side here. That way you get a chance to talk and visit and catch up. Uh, but we won't block traffic here at the very front and other people can get to their cars. Folks, we are so excited that worship is happening, that we've continued to be uh, in worship with the Lord over these last six months. Uh, so excited to be able to see some of y'all and continue that. Just want you to know, though, that that's not going to be our only worship opportunity. You still can come to our 8 o'clock parking lot worship, which is perfectly safe in your car. Come at 8, bring your car. We'll also have communion in person at that service. We'll pass it out, in, uh, which you can take in your car. And then at 10.30, if you want to come in person, uh, this is the week that we're going to start doing it. But if you want to continue live streaming, uh, that is still something we're going to continue to offer, including virtual communion. So continue to gather your bread and wine or grape juice. Uh, watch from a safe distance in your homes. Uh, for those who gather, for those who gather in their homes, we are still one in fellowship with the Lord. So excited to be able to worship with all of you. God bless and peace be with you.